Now, the average Knoxville resident is now paying just over $1,400 per month for an apartment in our area, mirroring, the, mirroring, mirroring, I should say, the national median rent according to a recent report by Apartment List. Six on your side reporter, Naomi Hilmer, joins us now live in the studio where she learned why prices are increasing and what the community is doing to try to combat that. Naomi. Don, in the past few years, Knoxville and the nation has seen a drastic increase in prices in the housing market. I spoke to a realtor who says his clients are paying at least $1,400 for an apartment in the metropolitan area. But most of the time, he says it can be more, pushing towards $2,000 a month. People can only afford a very small percentage of the rentals available and the housing market that's available. According to East Tennessee Realtors, the average rent for an apartment is slightly over the national median at $1,448 a month. Uh, but when you really look at our total rental market um, and just kind of say in Knox County in general and you add in the single family homes, rent's probably more around $2,000 to $2,400 a month. As an owner of his own real estate business, Stephen Hensley says this boils down to a supply and demand issue. Uh, but now it's, it's really became that big market because of supply and demand. We had so many people move here in the last couple years. It was just, we just weren't building fast enough to keep up with it. According to Knoxville's Community Development Organization, this is a problem they have faced for a few years now. Typically there's a two or three year lag before you start to see new units come online. So we've been playing catch up for the last five years um, for not building in about a 20 year period. So we've still got some work to do. While they play catch up, many people must look outside of Knoxville to find apartments at a lower rate. All that to say, there's still a huge demand for affordability, particularly for folks making really uh, very little money all the way up to about 80% of area median income, which I think for a family of four is about 70,000 in Knoxville right now. To find an affordable unit, particularly in certain segments of the market is very challenging. However, both KCDC and Hensley say rent prices are looking like they will not change dramatically in either direction. We're seeing an influx of a lot of housing supply into the market and over the next two to three years, that's gonna accelerate. So we hope to see a flatlining of those rents and the rent growth sort of stabilizing and also maybe a reduction at some point in the future as additional supply hits the market. Say they have an extensive waiting list right now. KCDC has a few developments in the works to increase housing supply in the area. Don. All right, Naomi, thank you very much. There are also other resources available for those who may be struggling to find affordable housing. Those can be found on our website at wate.com.